with this team and with some of these new faces? Um, it's been great for me. I've enjoyed the change, change of scenery, um, change of environment. Um, I feel like I've been able to grasp a lot of the concepts, you know, offensively and defensively that we're trying to get done. I don't by any means know every play or know, know everything. So um, it's just been a lot of fun. Obviously tonight um, did not go the way we wanted to, um, but, but we're all still getting used to, how, you know, playing with each other and tendencies and, um, you know, how guys like to play. So you learn from it. Um, you watch the film. Um, you don't dwell on it too much, but you figure out ways um, to get better. Um, and that's what we'll do. How do you mature you don't dwell on a loss like this or, or understand that there's so many new pieces? It's unrealistic to some extent to expect you guys to gel immediately, especially against a juggernaut like the Warriors. Um, I've been in the league long enough that I kind of just understand that. Um, 82 games, you know, and um, especially out the gate, um, we have some pretty good tests. You know, we have Golden State tonight, um, the defending MVP the next day, then we're um, at the best team in the in the league um, in Phoenix. So um, knowing that, knowing the road we have ahead, then back-to-back -back against a young, feisty Minnesota team, um, then to Utah, like I under, we, you know, you can't dwell on it. I um, understand what's in front of us. So just trying to get the guys to understand that, you know, you don't want to just throw it in the garbage. You know, you want to um, be able to learn from things and um, continue to get better. So, um, as a guy that's been in the league for a little bit, just trying to carry that message to the guys and, um, you know, keep the spirits up. What were you guys able to do in the first quarter that didn't necessarily carry over to the rest of the game? Um, I think until kind of the end of the first quarter, we were able to, you know, stack stops in a row. Um, you know, not just getting one and they score, but getting, you know, two, three, four stops in a row and getting out in transition. Um, the ball moved a little bit better um, in that first quarter. But I think the big thing for us was getting those stops. Last question let's take up from Zoom. Chris Santos, go ahead. Hello, hope you're doing well. Playing against a championship caliber team like the Warriors are and seeing players like Greg Brown, Brandon Williams make a step up. What how encouraging was that for you guys? And what would you like to maintain after that tough loss? Um, I mean, they've they run a lot of actions, you know, they're, they're really good at moving the ball and playing on selfish. So, you know, as much as you try to key in on, you know, Steph, Clay or, you know, Poole or Wiggins, um, all those other guys are very active. So, um, they do a great job of engaging the defense and making that extra pass. And, you know, it, it's great when you, you have a guy like Steph leading your team and you look up and he has, you know, 10 assists midway through the second quarter. So, um, you know, they, they're a great team. They're uh, at the top of the West for a reason. Um, but it was a good challenge for us to see how we stack up against them. Yep.